Welcome to our reading today from the Alive Church Life Transformation Discipleship Plan. Every day we read from the daily reading and the verses chosen for that day. Our readings this week focus on courage in trials. My attitude is one of courageous joy in and through all of life's trials. When trials come my way, I will not resent them as intruders. Rather, I will welcome them as friends. I choose to have courageous joy in the midst of trials because it is a healthier alternative than anger or blame. It's not that I am living in anticipation of trials, rather courageous joy during trials. This is based on my confident outcome, knowing God, my loving Heavenly Father, will use every trial to help me grow. My attitude in every circumstance and trial is one of courageous joy because my life is centered on God and His presence, God-oriented rather than event-oriented. Courageous joy is not based on an emotion. I'm not simply pretending to be happy and heroic or putting on a good front. Courageous joy is honest, allowing me to admit hurt and recognize suffering, even willingly participate in it. It is a contentment that comes from realizing nothing can separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus my Lord. My attitude is one of courageous joy in and through all of life's trials. Courageous joy is more decision than feeling. It is choosing to live above my feelings, yet never denying them. With the courageous joy of the Lord, I have a deep sense of well-being, even in times of sorrow, tears, anger, or pain. I will not let pain or struggles steal the joy of growth, insight, depth, and dependency on God. Instead, I will trust God for the benefits that will surely come as a result of my trials. Where do these trials come from? They may come from hardships out of my control or from a struggle within. They may come in a moment when I am least prepared and certain they will never come. Trials may be difficult situations that test my faith, such as persecution, a complicated moral choice, or a tragedy. The journey of life is full of such trials, and to merely endure them is not enough, for this is a process God uses to develop complete maturity in me. I will neither avoid trials that come my way, nor will I look for them to practice endurance. Once a trial is upon me, I will follow the example of Jesus. Because of the joy awaiting Him, He endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now He is seated in the place of honor, beside God's throne. That's Hebrews 12, 2. Without the proper attitude, all trials have the potential to steal my joy and my strength. Therefore, my attitude is one of courageous joy in and through all of life's trials. Day 4 of Courage in Trials Firm Foundations Remain Luke 6, 47-49 I will show you what it's like when someone comes to me, listening to my teaching, and then follows it. This is Jesus speaking. It is like a person building a house who digs deep and lays the foundation on solid rock. When the floodwaters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it is well built. But anyone who hears and doesn't obey is like a person who builds a house right on the ground without a foundation. When the floods sweep down against that house, it will collapse into a heap of ruins. In Proverbs 10, 25, When the storms of life come, the wicked are whirled away, but the godly have a lasting foundation. In our memory verse, Hebrews 12, 1b through 2, the latter half of verse 1 and verse 2, Let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. If you don't have a Life Transformation Bible from a live church, we'd love to send you one. Let us know by sending an email to office at alivechurch.com. Enjoy your day and be sure and tell a friend about these readings.